My office has taken note of the fact that the Nakuru County government defiance of court orders has caught the attention of the chairperson of the Judicial Service Commission, Chief Justice Mada Kome. I'm hoping that the Chief Justice will remain firm on the implementation of all court orders defied so far and take the necessary actions for the enforcement of the same so as to offer justice and the rule of law to prevail over gunism and misuse of state agencies to frustrate justice. In the statement issued by GSC, JSC, they are particularly disturbed by the events in Nakuru County where Aslans have occupied the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital, defying six court orders and intimidation of judicial officers, making them recast from hearing cases pertaining Nakuru County government. I'm categorically concerned by the happenings and the Nakuru governor's offices where hired goons paid and facilitated by the governor and a few members of parliament of Nakuru who have taken over Nakuru War Memorial Hospital attacked advocates who are peacefully demonstrating against the disregard of court orders on Thursday 15th February 2024. I noted at a dismay that the police, at a dismay that the police as the law enforcers stood and watched as the hired organisms disrupt, attack and injured advocates who are peacefully demonstrating. I know that the advocates, through their leadership, had issued notices to the concerned security forces on the said demonstrations. The court does not and ought not to be seen to make orders in vain. Otherwise, the court will be exposed to ridicule and no agency of the constitutional order would then be left in place to serve as a guarantee for legality and for the rights of all people. Defiance is not an option. Court orders are not mere suggestions or options or mere points of view. To see it in any other way, is to open doors to chaos and anarchy. I'm also concerned by the continuous attack by the governor to my office, belittling, belittling, belittling my work of oversight and the purported appointment of Nakuru East MP or Parliament as my replacement. This is a ridicule and lack of respect to the people of Nakuru County who overwhelmingly voted us to our respective offices. I want to remind the governor that the office of a senator for Nakuru County is a constitutional one. I think, I, yeah, I think as I said from the beginning, uh, the first uh, press conference, I said very clearly that is, there's none, nobody who is above the law. And the Nakuru County people elected us to serve them and to obey the rule of law. So anybody defying the rule of law, uh, the constitution is very clear that if he's a governor, he's supposed to be impeached. I think uh, the first time I said that, and I said the, the people who are supposed to do their work is the, the, the MCS. I think you've seen them going all around uh, protecting the, the governor and uh, trying to defame my my office, that I'm not doing the, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I said it there, that if they are neighbor, uh, there is this Article 1 that uh, belongs to the people. So I think that's the next move now the people will end up to. Because I don't believe that people can elect us and now become like CV above the law. What is the right of the people? So meaning, if you cannot offer that, you are given court orders, you are defying, then the people have now the right to take back the, the power that they bestowed into you, which will be the bad, because we, were, we think they elected all of us 
wanting us to work for them. It's very, very bad. And I think uh, if you look, we were, we were, we are the top, we are topping, I mean, we are the top list before uh, this county government was put into the office. But today we are below number five. So, and you know, our, 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 the, count, the Nakuru County serves, our health sector was serving the neighboring counties. So that means if we were, if we failed the health sector of Nakuru, we are also affecting the neighboring counties. So what does that tell? We are failing our people. And it is wrong to fail the people that put us in that office. If you look at uh, the War Memorial Hospital we are talking about, it was the only hospital we had in this Nakuru County that we could refer it as our Nairobi Hospital or the Aga Khan of our Na Na Nakuru. Uh, I only see governor now in the political rallies literally in my office and uh, I was shocked to see her even giving out my office. I think she appointed a, a, a senator and I was surprised that the, that the senator that was appointed, who is now Mwashimiwa of Nakuru, Nakuru East Kikaria, has not even served his term of uh, being the member of parliament of the Nakuru East. So you'd wonder how he will serve the two of my senatorial position and of uh, the whatever is I can. No, you see the year, there's no fight between Senator Tabitha Karanja and Susan and her Excellency Susan mm -hmm. uh, Keheka. There's no fight. All what we are saying, it is what people are looking for. What are people saying? They want their office, their hospital or memorial office opened. So if you open, there is no issue of Tabitha and uh, Susan there. But for me, I'll continue pushing and fighting for the rights of, of our people. So there is no fight and I don't think even if whoever comes and uh, try to, that we smile with Susan, walking, smiling, we do not solve the problem of the people of Nakuru. The people of Nakuru, the problem is, can their health sector be back to no more? Can the county government obey the court orders? After that, there's nothing else. And then we call because now because I come from Naivasha. So those are the people that will be shown to see, will be told to fight me, so that it will be seen that uh, the people of Naivasha uh, maybe are fighting me. But the truth of the matter is that's an MCA elected by the people to ensure that she, he is at the front, front, front line of, uh, I, mean the, the four, I mean the first line of the oversight. So it's as if they've uh, decided not to do their work to start now uh, defending the governor, instead of knowing, even when we say the, 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 the own social revenue have fallen, it is going to affect the award for the award fund. So they should be the first ones who are now talking about it more than even the senator, because I think they, they, they are forgetting that whichever money we bring in here, it is for the development of our people. The more it is literal, the more it will affect our people.